The Potu Bird A group of birds related to the nightjars and frogmouths, and are sometimes called poor me ones, after their haunting calls. There are seven different species of potu, which are found in Mexico, Central and South America, and the Caribbean, however, fossil evidence indicates that they also inhabited Europe during the Paleogene. For such a small bird, and an existence possibly spanning 66 million years ago, what do you really know about them? Join us, as we learn a little more about this magnificent species. The Patus are a highly conservative family in appearance, with all the species closely resembling one another. They range from 8.3 to 22.8 inches in length, and resemble upright sitting nightjars, a closely related family. They also resemble the frogmouths of Australasia, which are stockier and have much heavier bills. They have proportionally large heads for their body size and long wings and tails. The large head is dominated by a massive broad bill and enormous eyes. The bill, while large and broad, is also short, barely projecting past the face. It is delicate, but has a unique tooth on the cutting edge of the upper mandible that may assist in foraging, and their legs and feet are weak and used only for perching. Patus feed at dusk and at night on flying insects. Their typical foraging technique is to perch on a branch and occasionally fly out in the manner of a flycatcher in order to snatch a passing insect. Beetles form a large part of their diet, but they also take moths, grasshoppers and termites, and after catching an insect, they swallow it whole without beating or crushing it. Patus are monogamous breeders and both parents share responsibilities for incubating the egg and raising the chick. The family does not construct a nest of any kind, instead laying the single egg, which is white with purple-brown spots, on a depression in a branch or at the top of a rotten stump. One parent, often the male, incubates the egg during the day, then the duties are shared during the night. Changeovers to relieve incubating parents and feed chicks are infrequent to minimize attention to the nest, as they are entirely reliant on camouflage to protect themselves and their nesting site from predators. The chick hatches about one month after laying and the nestling phase is two months, a considerable length of time for a land bird. The plumage of nestling patus is white and once they are too large to hide under their parents they adopt the same freeze position as their parents, resembling clumps of fungus. The common patu adopts different defensive strategies to suit its circumstances. For a lone patu, or a brooding adult with a potential predator close to the nest, the bird attempts to avoid detection by remaining motionless and relying on camouflage. If ineffective, they break cover and attempt to intimidate the predator by opening its beak and eyes wide open while vocalizing or simply flies out of reach. Though the lifespan of the patu remains unrecorded, it is estimated that they live for 12 to 14 years on average like other bird species. So, what are your thoughts on this magnificent bird? Had you ever heard of it before this video? One thing I find amazing about them, is their ability to camouflage. If you were walking under them, you'd never even know they were there. What about them, stood out to you? Drop a comment and let me know. Thank you for watching.